Further news has emerged on the development of China's J-35 stealth fighter, the country's future fifth-generation carrier fighter. This time, it appears that the J-35 may have been adopted for alternative use, with new imagery pointing to the existence of a new prototype, one that is exclusively for land-based use, either by the Chinese Air Force or foreign customers. The last two prototypes of the aircraft that we know about were for the navalized J-35, which is expected to eventually take off from China's future catapult-equipped carriers. Of course, the J-35's manufacturer, the Shenyan Aircraft Corporation, did complete two land-based prototypes, known as the FC-31, which were targeted at the exports market. But the FC-31 project appears to have been paused in recent years, as Shenyan pursued its carrier-based versions. However, the new imagery has led to speculation that a land-based version of the aircraft is still a serious possibility, either for the People's Liberation Army Air Force or foreign customers looking for affordable fifth-generation fighters, or both. The first image of what appears to be a revised prototype, one that is rather blurry, was posted to a Chinese aerospace website in recent weeks. Initially, and unsurprisingly, many commentators suggested that it showed a new J-35 naval prototype making its test flight over Shenyan. Since then, elder images have also appeared, including those showing the aircraft flying together with J-16D fighters, which are Chinese derivatives of the Sukhoi Su-27 flankers, albeit heavily improved. It is unclear why the flankers would accompany the new J-35. As it stands, we just don't know for sure what the new J-35 is and likely will not know more in the near future at least until better imagery becomes available. Perhaps the most likely explanation is that the aircraft we are looking at is simply a third prototype for the carrier-based naval J-35. This still means that it might contain certain changes, including those to the wing surface and the tail section that may give the impression it is for land-based use. The reasoning behind the speculation of a land-based fighter is certainly understandable. Based on a comparison between the new aircraft and the previous versions of the naval J-35, the wings on the new fighter appears noticeably smaller. Furthermore, the horizontal stabilizers in the tail section no longer blend in or cut into the wings like on the default J-35. The tail section on the new prototype is now clearly separated from the wings. These features point to the possibility it is a land-based version. Carrier-based fighters generally will want a larger wing than their land-based counterparts, because this helps to improve the handling at low speeds on the approach to a carrier's flight deck. For example, the American F-35C stealth fighter has a materially larger wing than the land-based F-35A. Overall, however, it's hard to come to a definitive conclusion. The smaller size of the wings could just be due to the angles from which the photos are taken, and we cannot be sure of the wing size until clearer images become available. Nevertheless, there's good reasons to speculate that this may be a land-based J-35. A land version of the J-35 will likely be intended for export. Since the J-35 project is becoming mature, it makes some sense to produce an export product, with some of its capabilities toned down from the original version of the Chinese Naval Air Force. An export J-35 would be offered at a substantially lower price than competing Western designs, and without the tight exports restrictions and elder baggage that normally come with them. In this sense, the exports version of a J-35 follows the pattern of the South Korean KF-21 and the Turkish TFX. 
being medium weight fighters with advanced radar signature reducing features, and with advanced avionics and long range air to air weapons. For those countries who either cannot purchase an F 35 or who do not even want to purchase, either due to affordability or political considerations, the export J 35 or the FC-31 could provide a competitive fifth-generation fighter at a low cost. As far as the possibility of a land-based J-35 for the PLA Air Force goes, this warrants more careful examination. Why would the PLA Air Force, which already has the J-20, even have a requirement for a J-35? China has invested heavily in a huge production line for the J-20, and is currently capable of building more than 100 J-20s annually. The Air Force clearly prefers the J-20, that fact is self-evident. It has rejected the FC-31 in the past. China has even developed a two-seat version of the J-20, the J-20S with the purpose of controlling unmanned combat aerial vehicles. So the country is taking the J-20 design as a long-term solution to a wide range of its operational requirements. In my view, it is not clear why the PLA Air Force would want a second stealth fighter. There are great advantages with operating only a single fighter, from the point of view of logistics and production. So I am not convinced that a land-based J-35 is something the Air Force really wants. According to some commentators, the case for the J-35 serving in the Air Force alongside the J-20 is that the J-35 is smaller and may be more affordable, and can support the heavier Mighty Dragon. But there's no concrete evidence for the greater affordability. Both the J-35 and the J-20 are twin-engine fighters, so you're not getting cost savings from the power plant. It may be far better to build more J-10Cs if a more affordable and numerous fighter is desired. While the J-10C is of course non-stealthy, it can still provide firepower support for the J-20. From an operational perspective, it is difficult to see a role for a land-based J-35. As I said before, perhaps the most likely explanation is that the new prototype is simply another version of the naval J-35. None of the design changes that we saw on the new plane is incompatible with a carrier-based aircraft. But as we've seen in this video, speculations about a land-based version are reasonable. The J-35 is a multi-decade program with potentially far more exciting developments to come. There have been rumors about a possible two-seat version of the carrier-based J-35 for specific combat missions, including drone control and electronic warfare. Soon enough, we should see a new version of the fighter with the WS-19 engines, the ultimate power plant for China's next carrier fighter. For a detailed overview of all the information to date on the J-35, China's next carrier fighter, please watch this video right here.